Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the last episode of The Duelist. This will end the last of the three series, or the three uh, Battletech series that I was playing in the past little while. Um, if you're turning into this one before you've seen the last two, the uh, Duelist one and the Inheritance one, um, go back and have a look at those ones, especially the Inheritance one. It tells you why I've been away for so long. Um, I'm not going to get into it here, but um, it gives you kind of a brief idea why I've been away. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be the last episode for the Duelist. Now, uh, I did make a minor change to the Hatchetman because we did take some damage in the last one. Um, and, or do we take damage in this guy? No, I think I just, I think I, I can't remember. I, did, I know, I remember I readjusted things because I wanted to change some stuff for the last episode. But let's just take a quick look at it here. All right, so we pulled off the large improved heavy laser, uh, which was in the right arm. And I pulled out, what did I pull out of the head? The hot seat cockpit and something else. I can't remember, but I went with the enhanced imaging and the fire control system blood sport. And I dropped back in the uh, chameleon LPS because I was finding that it was just, we couldn't get close enough to the enemy before they spotted us to be like to get, to get a first strike in with, it, with, with melee, right? They just were shooting at us at a distance, and there's not much we could do about that, right? So now, um, the other thing I've decided to do is round out this thing a little bit better than just going with the 80 damage, because we don't need to overheat ourselves to get the uh, um, the hot seat activated, right? I decided to go with a plasma cannon and a pair of mag shots. So the plasma cannon uh, will give us 30% um, heat increase when it hits the enemy. Uh, so it'll increase their heat by 30 and then we have the on the SRMs. We've got infernos and We've also got mag pulse ammo the mag pulse ammo will also increase it by 2% per hit so hopefully we can um, You know this alongside of the uh, The battle cobra should be able to overheat the enemies relatively quickly allowing them not to move away from us But being us being able to get some million on them That's what I'm really hoping for and then the two mag shots were inserted with half a ton of ammo, it's like 12 turns of firing each, which is more than enough for this. It doesn't explode either, which is fun, which is good. But uh, whenever I do any melee or whatever, like punching or using the weapon, um, they'll fire off at the same time. So those, those are the only changes I made to this guy. Now, for our final fight, I've decided to do a duo duel, two skulls. And, you know, we're fighting for Clan Wolf and against the local government, which is... Clan Wolf local government, so I'm guessing that we're going to be facing Clan Wolf pilots. So we'll have to see here. Two skulls, I don't know what to expect. Um, it could be anything. Uh, as far as salvage goes, um, we're just going to go max. It doesn't really matter. And then we got to clear these guys out from like the last battle. Uh, just clear, apply, beautiful. And we'll bring in, uh, where are you here? Vengeance. And then China Doll from the top. And we want the Battle Cobra. Oh yeah, that's right. I gave her Escapist too. She had a few points. I decided to max out her Evasion. It's a little bit, a little better than uh, the Gunnery, but and then the Hatchetman bring down. We're a little bit low on weight, but we should be fine. We're one skull under, but we should be okay. Interface initiated. All right, here we go. Second last time we'll see this map. We got one more fight after this one, but uh, we're gonna move up here. We should be able to hide from these guys enough. So I think we got looks like a fire starter here to start. I think. Pretty sure it's a fire starter. Anyway, we're gonna um, move up since we've got our uh, our chameleon LPS. We're just gonna walk up. I could take an early shot at him, but I don't want him to kind of see where we're shooting from. We're just going to walk up. There's a second mech briefly there for a second. I didn't get a chance to see what it was. I think originally I thought it was an assassin or an executioner or something. I kind of caught a bit of a shape. Like right there, you can see it too, but... Yeah, now they vanished. I think I was convinced hey, it was an, exe an executioner. I'm walking here. Because it remained stealthy for so long, like I could see the. Um, Standing by. I could see the uh, 
fire started just fine, but it just kept disappearing, so I was assuming that it was stealth in some kind of manner. I think it just has ECM, though. I'm trying to decide here, do I go head on or go around? Ready for orders. I'm like, eh, they may need to detect us at any moment, so let's not give them a direct line of sight. As usual, we'll just kind of go to the right. We got good cover over here, so we'll just do that. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Still don't know what it is. Still don't know what it is. I, th I think it's at this point. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna move in. Let's get into the trees. We could walk it up, but I'm like, nah, let's push it. Let's get into the trees. That'll give us some protection and put us within striking distance if they decide to move. Right? We're in pretty good distance here. Thinking back, I think it might have been better to walk one more turn and then run up. But this isn't too bad of a move. Now, I kind of briefly saw what he was, but then I'm like, is that a summoner? It looked like a summoner at first. Uh, that could be really bad for us, but we'll find out here in a second what it is. There it is. It is a mech full of fucking nastiness, this thing. Losing armor. It's a Hades. Lots of missile, lots of energy. Commander? And I'm like, oh shit, we gotta take we gotta deal with this guy now. I gotta get in the trees because I gotta make sure I got protection. Pretty good chance to hit. I'm kinda turning slightly just because I know that fire starter is gonna come around the corner, right? I'm gonna walk and drop my instability and then we're gonna hammer this guy with as much EMP as we can. I can't shift click it because it's uh clan SRM and a regular SRM. But I'm really hoping we hit with the plasma cannon here. And I can't remember if we did or not, but we did a lot of EMP damage to him. He's overheating already. Here comes the fire starter. This guy's a fucking pain in my ass. Got a large pulse. Tagged me too. Commander. And now I'm like, okay. We've got to keep this Hades sh fucking quiet. He's got to stay quiet or else we're in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to try and move up here and get the best shot I can on him. I want to position myself so that if he tries to come around behind me, he's going to open himself up for a back strike. We're going to hammer him with everything here. It's going to make us a little hot, but I'm fine with that. Gotcha. We hit him really freaking hard here. Yeah, he can't do much. But he's dropping a lot of heat and he's backing up, which is good. Didn't get very far. Ready for orders. So now I'm like, okay, that guy's backed up. He's out of the way. Let's try and get this fire starter knocked off because he's going to be overheating us and it's going to be a big problem. So we're going to come around behind him and we use a physical weapon on him. I want to see if we can take him out in one shot. I think I leave the. Did I change the EMP to. I can't remember if I leave that on or not. I think we leave it on. No, nope, Inferno, I guess. EMP? I can't remember. I'm making a, I can't remember why I was making it. It was a hard decision. We land that attack, which is nice. You'll see where it hit in a second. Couldn't follow up on it, though. Mr. Zippy times four, or Mr. Zappy times two, that is. That's the EMP, is I think. Yeah, it doesn't, I can't, it doesn't show you here, but we hit him, we hit him CT. Hit the axe. CT back. Not enough for a kill though, which is pain, which is All a real pain there. in the ass. So they're going before us. Waiting for order. All right. Well, I'm like, I got to keep this guy baked now because he's dropped all his heat. Coordinate he's had two turns to drop heat, so I'm like, I gotta, he's, I gotta bake him. Right? Great chances to hit. I can't go all out though, because if I shut down, I'm screwed, right? So I'm thinking I'll just turn the mag shots off and burn them. Right? Keep them nice and toasty. We hit them with five. Five or six. We get five or six? I don't know. We got a lot on them. Not enough to overheat them though. Like he's like got heat sinks. And then of course this guy goes again before me. 
So now I have to decide. The Hades is free. Here's the problem here. Leg kick. And then, welcome to the jungle. So the reason why he's hitting with so much is he has five streak sixes. And I'm going down. I'm wounded. Yeah, five streak sixes. They all hit. Painful. So, um, we're going to come around behind this guy and try and kill the fire starter now. He's got to die. Because if I have to take on the Hades with the Hatchetman, I can't have the Fire Starter still alive. So I can't save the I can't save the Battle Cobra at this point, right? I'm like, okay, it's down. If I go to fight the 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 um, Hades from behind, then the Fire Starter is going to get me from behind. So I got to kill the Fire Starter. It's the only thing I can do, right? His CT back is already hit, so I'm deciding now: do I melee, right, or do I just try to shoot for it and hopefully I get lucky and just hit him once with a SRM or something? Right? Do I melee? I don't think so. Once again, forgetting about enhanced imaging. I put it on there and forgot. Yeah, I know. You can scream at me all you want, but like I said, unless I have a big red button, it ain't gonna happen. Gotta drop my heat here. It's a pain, but I gotta do something. I just need one hit. One hit is all I need. Is nope. Why would I hit? Reading you. Alright. Now I got a choice here. I'll try to heat the Hades up more, or do I finish off the uh, fire starter? And I think we know the answer to that. The fire starter's gotta go. But I gotta be in a position that this guy can't get behind me, right? Affirmative. That's not bad. It's not perfect. It's not bad. And she falls. Because she sprinted while wounded. I'm hit the He's gonna back up and drop drop heat. He basically let the fire starter Wait die. Is what he did. That's their first mistake. I'm two mistakes in already. Splitting my forces and sprinting while injured. I gotta get a kill on this guy now. Cause if I don't, we're dead. Your armor it is. There it is. All right, now we're two up. We're Start two to eliminated. one now. Yes, commander. Okay. We got to get you into play now. We got to get some heat back on this guy because I can't have him shooting at us next turn. But I can't get in there. Right, we're wounded on the right hand side here, really badly. I got a position with my left to him because if he comes around that corner, right. I can't have him tear my side Order off. Acknowledged. We're going to brace ourselves right there. I can't run either. I'm ready. So we've got initiative on him. I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to run up into this gap. Right? We're going to completely block him from getting behind us because he can't get through there. Confirmed. And we're just going to go after him. We have to. Full EMP. we got to crank up his heat again. Plasma cannon on. Whatever we can do. EMP, yep, turn the mag shots off if I have to, but we've got to get EMP on this guy. We've got to heat him up now, because look at that. I think it actually might be six streak sixes. Medium pulse. Magnus. Yeah, it's just insane what he's got. Okay, good, good heat. Then, of course, forgetting that, he's just going to melee me. Because, of course, he will. And then fire off all his weapons at the same time. Which is like such a Losing lots bullshit of mechanic. I, I don't even get that, but whatever. Move order received. Anyways, coming for some barbecue here. We've got to keep them hot. Turn whatever weapons we can on. Let's just barbecue them. Do it. All weapons on go. Then he goes before us. Melee again. And then the worst thing can, the worst thing that could possibly happen is about to happen. There's the knockdown. 
And there's the bailout. Yes, yep. Commander. My main pilot just bailed out. At this point, I'm like, fuck, I'm screwed. What am I going to do now? If I punch this guy, all my weapons are in my arms. So the, the melee is out, is out of the table. I, I forgot they were all in my arms, right? I'm like, okay, melee's off the table now. It's all weapons. I could try and punch him or kick him or whatever, but he's just going to melee me back. So I've got to get to a position where I can hit him with everything. Going for a back strike. Let's keep him overheated. That's all we can do, right? We still have all our weapons. So I got good ammo. Good chance to hit. Get some barbecue going on this guy. There we go. Some good penetration. Right torso's gone. He goes again. I'm worried about him meleeing us, but I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't have enough movement? Probably not. So now we can get behind him again. Really great chances to hit because he couldn't move very far. We got real lucky here at the end. Here's the next attack. The CT's badly damaged. There it is. So it was a good finish, but our main pilot bailed out, which is kind of a piss off. Mission successful. Now we made 100,000, but it was a significant amount of damage to the uh, to the hunchback. I think it's out for like 39 days or some shit like that. But we lost the, all the upper. Uh, like the components in his head too, which is really, really bad, right? Then of course they go ahead and dispute this. Not that, it, like I said, it's the last episode. Not that it matters. But I do do a check here just to see what they were offering us. It, there's a lot of stuff they were offering us, like SRM 6 streaks, comp streak double pluses, and there's like a lot of them, right? Large pulse lasers. But then you go down, and it's like basic cockpits, basic sensors, and that's just going to flood the loot table. And we're only get the chance to choose one item, right? So I was like, fuck you, we're not going to take that. We'll take the Loki part. Because it really is a smart play, right? I mean, they may have given us stacked Streak 6s and stuff. Which may have been a nice loadout for somebody, but... You know. That was a, that was a tough mech. That was a tough mech to fight. I gotta say. They, the thing did a lot of damage. But the Loki part was really what we wanted. Alright, 214,000. For that short engagement, it was really brutal. 44 days for the repairs though. I think 39 of that, I think I'd just check it here in a second here. I think I'd check. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm, I think I'm like, yeah, let's, yeah, you know what, This we're, we're going to do a second one here. I just need to find a pilot and a, a mech, and I'm like, what mech do we have available? Like, I was trying to see if we had time to bring back the Hatchetman, but with like, what, 35 days? There's just no way to get it back in time. And then I gotta like, fix stuff on it and everything, right? So, I was like, what do we got down here? We got the Adder, which isn't bad. I mean, it had like, medium lasers, flamer, stealth X, bunch of machine guns. It's not too, too bad. The Spectre, not so much because it's got like, Ultra 2. And an ER large laser, so it's really a long range mech, so it's not really good for this match. And then we got a 25 ton mech here. I mean, it's got a lot of weapons on it, but it's 25 tons, so one and a half skulls, single fight, is like, it's really iffy, right? It just takes one or two hits and you're pretty much over. And then we can forget about the locust. So the adder 35 tons is pretty much the only thing we can drop. So we're going to do that one. And then we're going to wait for Vengeance to be back six days. Uh, yep, so that's, we try to get the uh, pilot again, doesn't work. Doesn't want to be a bondsman, that's fine. So then we wait the rest of the days, and then we get another, we get an encounter here too, I think, in the next little bit. Just before, yeah. Solaris. Screw you! I will be trying Solaris in the next season, though. Try to get this one day without it rolling over to financial report. And then... Command Center, let's do this, baby. At this point, I don't even care if we win or lose. That last battle was pretty good, but I'm like, it is a short episode. Let's, let's do another one, right? 
Might as well. We had two of them up there, so what, what the heck, right? Stealth X, we should be fine. Guardian ECM, machine guns. What do we got? Six, six medium lasers, four machine guns? Plenty, right? What could go wrong? Oh, we got a flamer too, yeah. Energy accuracy, we should be just fine, right? Alright, here we go. Last time we'll ever see this map in a long time. We fought all of our matches, all of our duos on this map. So we got a hunchback, which could be bad. Alright. This would be some prime beach real estate. If could be. A beach. I have no, no idea what this version is. Ballistic and two energy and another ballistic. It's got a lot of armor though, so like it's like, you know, a half decently regular version of Hunchback. So, I mean, back attack, right? I'm ready. Right? Makes the most sense, don't you think? We got Stealth X. I don't know how long we can stay stealthy though. Move. Wait, I should probably check now. Oh no, yeah, there's no uh, turning it on or off, it's just always on. Making sure we turn the machine guns up here. We're gonna need them on. Maxed out. We got 800 rounds for some reason. I can't remember why it's 800 rounds. I think I put a couple of tons of tracer ammo in there. I think that's what it was. I don't know why I put... Well, no, because it's 200 rounds. I don't know why. I don't know why it's 800. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hidden behind, behind here as much as I can. I'm trying to decide. He's moved out already, right? So I'm like, ah. You got trees in between us. So, I mean, I could move towards the trees. Like, he's in the trees now. He's pretty slow, right? So the choice is, do we move out now and shoot him? Do I try and shoot his, his uh, ammo side right here? She's going to give him a chance to shoot at me before I can get around behind him. I don't know where he'll move there. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll move over here. He's probably not going to get a chance to shoot at me. Doesn't look like it, because I think he has to move too far to get through the trees. I think he's like a 4-6 movement, right? So, I don't think he can run through these trees here. But sure enough, he runs through the trees and gets a shot at me. Thank God he misses, though. So he's got an AC-20 and two mediums. Alright. We're good. Are we good? I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah. I'm your Spaniel. Oh yeah, that's right. We can jump up on a rock and that's it. So, I mean, at least we could stop him from getting behind us. So, we're going to go after his weapon side. I'm thinking here, can we get some distance on him and shoot him from a longer range? But it doesn't really matter because his weapons are the same distance as mine. Like my medium lasers are the same distance as his AC-20. So, if I'm going to do it, we're going to move in. Face him directly. So, if he shoots us, it's a random spot. And we're just going to hammer him with everything. Go after the weapon side, try and kill the weapon. Gonna be getting a bunch of heat here, dropping the flamer for now. Cause it's not really gonna help us at all, right? And I think I got it. I think I'm checking how much heat the, the machine guns put out. We gotta stay mobile here. Because he's, I wanna be able to get around behind him. And he is closing the distance, so there's a miss. It's scary though, every time he fires. I think you hear that gun go off and just get, you drop a load in your pants, you're just waiting Great for that orders. hit, right? So now we got our first back attack here. We're gonna take it. Roger that. But he got 30 armor in every location in the back, so it should be an easy kill if we can get through his back armor. Gonna crank up the machine guns. Double checking the heat here at this time. Trying to find out how much it applies. So with one shot, or um, it's a certain amount. Two shots it goes up, but then three, four it's the same, and then five, six it goes up again. So we can go four shots comfortably. Firing on rear arc. Which isn't bad. We've got a crit in the AC-20. We're just going to have a reduced chance to hit. Not that it matters. Because he's going to come and visit us here with the AC-20 and hit us. There goes the arm. I was worried that that was a leg hit. I was like, shit, that's a leg hit, man. We're fucked. Then, of course, he goes again. Gets around behind us. The thing you gotta worry about with close quarters Starting. fighting. Minimal damage. I just still don't have enough resolve. I'm receiving you. Right? I can't guarantee I can go in front of him. Just trying to figure out what I gotta do here. 
I gotta have my back to the wall as best I can, but I also gotta be in the trees, right? Because I, I can't. Primitive. I gotta have that extra armor protection the trees provide. I kinda got my right side to him now to protect it a little bit, but we're down weapons here. Put the flamer on, fuck it. Go for him. Go for him. Just do it. Crank it up. Sure. Firing I think my, my thought pattern there was. Less chance to hit, but more chance for crits, and there it was. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, we just killed Ready the AC-20. Down to medium laser. His other torso's almost gone. I'm like, let's pull the other torso. Fuck him. I put my back to a wall so he can't get around behind me. Position confirmed. Still got to worry about melee, but it's fine. Got a great chance to hit. We should be able to take his other torso. On your tail. There it is. Now he can't punch me. Critical hit, Commander. Still kick me though, I think. Oh, maybe you can't kick if you don't have any arms. I can't remember. But he doesn't do anything, he just kind of runs over. I don't know whether he just didn't have the range to do it. No, because he backs up here, he can't do anything. He's just going to stand and fire. Yes, Commander. We're going to finish him up here. I don't care if we're running through the flames. Fuck him. Just go through the flames, man. Do it. There you are. Move order received. And that's it for that's it for this guy, I think. And that's the Your end of that battle. Is. There you go. Reporting enemy battle. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, hundred grand, not bad. There's not a lot of uh, salvage in this one, although we do lose an arm. It was easy components to replace, though. A couple machine guns and a couple medium lasers. The smart play is to grab the hunchback piece here. It's the cased version of it, which is why when the ammo went off, it didn't blow up completely. It's got an AMS system. Not bad. We get everything anyway. Yeah. Sell it, baby. Yeah, 56,000. I mean, it's a good thing it's an Omnimax, so it's only a couple of days to repair it. What, four days? Yeah, it'll go quick. Place the machine guns, it's back in, back in service. Alright guys, well, that's the end of this series, end of the Duelist, and sorry I had to, like, um, narrate this one, but, uh, yeah, well, like, like I said, I recorded all three of the end, end episodes back to back, and, uh, um, realized that my sound wasn't rolling, so, uh, for whatever reason, I switched my mic to my headset mic, which is not even attached. And I got zero voice sound. So anyway, I'm going to end this episode here uh, in this series here. Um, the next time we come back, we will be into a new series in the new version of Rogue Tech. Like I said, maxed out in technology, with the exception of nukes, because I'm not going to put nukes in. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to do a whole new opening for that one, too. So we'll have to work, work on that in the next little bit. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for that series, please drop them in the comment section down below. I'm not locked into anything just yet, um, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed the series. Until next time, we'll see you all later.